Hello, my name is Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. We have a Defect Ascension run to do today. It's Defect Ascension run level 5. It's heal less after boss battles. Let's begin. Obtain 3 random potions, okay. 21 damage for a rare relic. That's essentially like fighting the Gremlin Knob for us, or Lagavulin. It's actually a good call because this means I can skip an early elite and go for a late one like this one, for example. Or go for like triple rest. Early elite and triple rest. That's really good, but it's, it's the early elite that gets me. Most of the time. Not all the time. Most of the time. Dude, there are three rests here with no elites. Hmm. I guess I could go here... You know, I'm actually gonna take the damage. It's Ginger. You can no longer be weakened. I value relics, and 21 damage for a relic might seem too much. It's actually not. Not for an Ascension run, and... Okay, maybe for an Ascension run, but... It's generally not too much. Most of the times you will end up taking some- oh, this is double defend again. Most of the time you'll end up, you know, when you're forging for a relic- I, I seriously need to actually remember the event names. I don't- I've played this game for hmm, so many hours now. I can triple strike here, which is not gonna kill me. I don't have any potions, so single defend it is. And we end up taking more damage. There's this event where you, you just take damage for a relic. For a random relic. Could pick up a leap. This early on, it's not bad. Barrage, though. We do have Ginger, which means... Actually, it doesn't really mean that much. This means if I do choose to go aggressive, I can't be weakened, which is really nice. I will pick up a Barrage. Let's see if we can make that Frost Run Barrage thing going on. This does mean that I'm not going to be upgrading dual cast or zap though. Actually, dual cast can be upgraded. Zap doesn't need to be in the deck though. I will not double defend here. Actually, I didn't need to defend at all. I was killing the front one. Can't be weakened. And dead. Sweeping beam. I do need some AoE. I was going this way, yeah, this is an early shop. I can card remove here. Ooh, defrag though. It's an early pickup of a defrag. That means I can't card remove, which is really bad. So I might actually just card remove. Card remove. That is a blizzard as well, and I do want to go with frost orbs. I probably said this like a dozen times, but I want to go with frost orbs because they end up defending you. And the only thing you actually need to I probably should have triple defended there instead of doing the AoE hit. And, uh, what was I saying? Frost Orbs. Yeah, the Frost Orbs defend you and, you know, you, you just deal damage with a barrage. No. This is the relic, Scrapoos. Probably not gonna remember the name. Yeah. The Pentagraph is actually not bad, but I'm really low in HP now. So in all likelihood, I'm probably not gonna go for the, uh, Elite here. I did get Ginger, so yeah, that's fine. Actually, just gonna continue here over for the a lot of rusts. Oh, this is more HP loss. I don't want to take it. I'm really low on HP. That's why I didn't want to take it. And it's fights like this that can actually kill me. So, so I will double defense, single zap. I actually won't do any direct damage yet. I need to start though. So front one is buffing, but hopefully they'll be dead next turn. Come on, sleeping beam? No, but they should be dead. Yeah, they're dead. Strength potion. Second barrage is a bit too much. Loop is normally not bad, but I don't need it yet. Gremlin horn. Definitely an early pickup of a gremlin horn can boost you really badly. Oh, and a sweeping beam. It's a godsend. 
So you kill one, you draw a card, you kill another one, you just keep drawing cards. Hopefully you keep drawing strikes. Okay, we didn't. Yeah, I took the risk there, I know. Yeah, it, it paid off. It might not have. It was a 50-50 on both rolls, but... Your potion is actually not bad, but I will pick it up. Reboot isn't bad, so I will just pick it up. Am I resting yet? No. What's what's the fight here? Okay, it's not a Hexaghost fight. I was hoping it was a Hexaghost fight, so I don't actually have to rest. Barrage is next. Probably dual cast afterwards. I still haven't picked up a single frost. So, oh, this fight could kill me. I was hoping to pick up a Cold Snap or, you know, some kind of Frost Orb generation. Because it is going to be needed. Can I kill it? No, because I don't have a Strike. I have a Barrage, which I can't use. That was a mistake. Shouldn't have done that. I didn't want to lose the gold, but I probably should have lost the gold. Could pick up a charge battery, but if I'm going for frost orbs, the thing is that if I'm going for frost orbs, I haven't actually gone for any frost orbs yet. Because I do have pentagraph, I should consider rusty. Probably. Actually, dual cast first, then charge battery. Mercury hourglass. Well, that's three extra damage. So I will rest here. I do need to upgrade. I need to upgrade charge battery. And maybe a couple of defense, but let's actually win this fight. Because we're off to a kind of a good start. So what I want, I did upgrade dual cast, but I did that for the future. What I want is I actually want three orbs. And I'm actually I might actually reboot to get that. I did not. Come on, zap. No zap. Okay, I'm gonna. It is going to transform. I want three orbs because I'm planning on using the strength potion. Possibly the dex potion as well. So I'm actually not going to be dual casting this fight. I'm going to deal most of my damage through barrage. Yes, I am still, uh, still haven't upgraded the zap and I'm not going to. Too bad I don't have ice cream here. Not going to be upgrading it because I'm going to be removing it. There's a barrage. Now this will not transform but it will deal some extra damage and I did plan on using these potions here. Actually this will transform. Okay that's nice. Alright, one defend, two defend, then a single strike. It's still some damage and we should deal damage whatever we can. I do want a sweeping beam, I might get a zap or something. It's either a zap or a charge battery that I'm gonna get. I should do it. Okay, got a zap. Okay, now Barrage does a little bit more. That's not bad. The thing is though, I cannot like transform him. I just don't deal enough damage. But I did sort of defend, which is fine. I will dual cast now, because I do have a zap. Okay, that was good. We actually dealt a lot of damage there. Barraging and dual casting... I think might be enough. Yeah, it is. I didn't do the math, that's why. Hyper Beam isn't bad, but I... Really want to go for frost orbs. I really want to get that build done. Done. I really want the darkness orb build run as well. So I'm actually not planning on playing too many cards. So velvet choker is not bad. I mean, the only zero cost I'm gonna pick up is go for the eyes, beam cell, and steam bearer. And the likelihood of me playing all three of those in a single turn is very low. A champion fight that we need to be ready for a champion fight. If we are not ready for a champion fight, we're just gonna die. 
All right, let's see. Where's the most rest with a couple of elites? One elite rest, and there's a second elite. There's three rests here and a single elite, which I might actually take. There, there are possibilities for two elites here, so that's where I'm gonna go. I'm generally looking for more rests, with the possibility of at least. Generally, I want at least one elite, but two is fine as well. Two is actually really good. I guess I do have Reboot, and that will sort of interfere with Velvet Choker. I'll actually Reboot now. Yeah, I'm not using Sweeping Beam again. I want to defend. Until I get a, a couple of Frost Orb generations, it's gonna be kinda hard. Yeah. That was five cards. That even that wasn't six. I guess our hand because it is five cards. With sweeping beam, it is six, but that's not gonna be an often thing to trigger. So kill this one, then just blue cast. It gets dead. I didn't need to do that there. I know I didn't. There's a defrag. We do need one, but we need frost orb generation. I don't have a shop nearby, so I actually won't give the gold. Um, it's a shovel. I, I guess it could come in useful later on if I do manage to upgrade everything I want. Do I deal with six or do I just save extra energy for next? I actually don't need extra energy. What am I talking about? I have four. Okay, so double defend, then reboot. Didn't get a single zap. Yeah, I know I'm taking one here. I'm gonna be taking a lot more than one. Let's dual cast. I can't kill it though, that's the thing. And I just took a bunch of damage. I probably shouldn't be forcing the game. I will take an upgraded Steam Bear. I know there was a cool headed there, but... Healing for 25? Okay. I know that that could have had a, a cold snap. I took the healing. I normally don't take the healing. I think that's the first time I've taken the healing from that. Actually, since when does it give you an option to heal? The library. Hmm. I think that's the first time I've noticed that. Weird. Alright, so we're very confused. There's a 2 cost sap. I will actually use it because I do have the energy and I will just normal defend. So my barrage actually deals a bunch of damage. I will sweeping beam, let's see what we get. Zero cost strike, sure. But still not fully defended. The issue with this is I'm not fully defending always. I should be. Should be dead. Yeah, it is. Capacitor. Capacitor is a uh, is something you pick up. So defrag should probably be the next thing I upgrade. Or charge battery. For now, defrag. Actually, I don't need to. I shouldn't have picked up a charge battery if I'm gonna um, if I'm going for frost orbs. I haven't gotten a frost orb though, which is the issue. So currently, this is a lightning orb bolt, and I'm not even gonna fully defend here. So I will use the weakness potion. More orbs, sure, and I'll deal with the six. Ugh. It's the defect. I will reboot for an extra defensive card. Too bad I didn't get Steam Barrier there. Would have definitely played it. Okay. I guess at this point I should just avoid playing strikes. Yeah. Oh. I think we're gonna die to the Book of Stabbing. I think that's just gonna happen. Yeah, that was four wounds. Our deck is kind of thin, so... 
Yeah, I need to start dual casting. I might even need to use the fear potion. Oh boy, yeah, we're dead. Redo time. You know what? Second attempt, I'm actually gonna go for something different. I normally, like, when I start recording, I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Uh, what build I'm gonna do, that's what I'm trying to say. Obtain a random book. I'm going for the max HP here, ain't I? So I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but in between my intro and starting off the game and seeing what options I have, I normally decide for like, you know, am I gonna go for this build or I'm gonna or am I gonna go for some sort of variation on this or on that or whatever or whatever I, I wanna do. But the game doesn't wanna give me that sometimes. Most of the time. There's a lot of question marks here which I do wanna get. But I think this time we're just gonna go with the flow. We're gonna see what the game gives us. I'm gonna go this way. I like that way. I'm gonna see what the game wants to give me and that's what I'm gonna try and do. I very rarely do that. Like very rarely. Come on, dual cast? No. But it's dead. Honestly, the game is taunting me now at this point. Now I'm gonna pick up the cold snap. It's never gonna give me a capacitor or a defrag or a barrage. It never will, trust me. You know what, I will pick it up, and if it doesn't, it doesn't give me anything. It's fine. I can't double defend here, so I will just dual cast. Okay, one's down, so that's nice. I can't kill this one, so... At the very least, I'm taking a lot less damage. Ancient Potion, sure. Mm, no. Obtain a Golden Idol for... I will take the 20 damage. For example, this Relic, the Golden Idol for 20 damage. I would rather have Ginger for 21 damage, and uh, this is 75 gold. I probably should have gotten, should have headed this way. I'm heading straight towards the blue, and we're losing more HP. Yeah, well, I mean, I normally love that event, don't get me wrong, the uh, rim of a card event. 7 HP for a card removal, Oof, don't mind if I do. I'm not going to be using the zap, actually I'm going to use the ancient potion because he's going to make me vulnerable and that's probably the thing that'll kill me. Okay. I could dual cast here possibly to prevent some damage. That's a lot of damage. I will I will dual cast. This is preventing a lot of damage, so. Not sure how much, but it is preventing some damage. Okay, that's not good. Without zaps, we're actually not doing that much damage. I need tr three strikes in the next hand, so I actually need to defend here. Okay, 15. Okay, not bad. Regal pull, okay. There's a chill, definitely taking it. Okay, now I just need to- what is the boss fight here? And a guardian again. Okay, we're gonna be taking two extra damage here. Okay, there's a chill. I guess I will dual cast that. Now I need to pick up a barrage, a defrag, and a capacitor. I will need to defend here. Could I have killed there? No. Well, because frost orbs don't deal damage. Alrighty, fruit juice is not bad. There is a barrage. First, first thing I'm picking up is barrage. And definitely upgrading it, right? Yeah. Those well, strikes and zap need to go out, get out, but to be a bit more precise, I need to go this way. Anchor is really nice. 
I don't have any AoE though. I should dual cast. No, I should zap, dual cast, then chill. Just because it's gonna do. Alright, but one of them died. Hmm. Still fine. Alright, which one am I hitting? I guess I'm hitting this one? Actually, I could have killed that one. Can I defend for 10? Yeah. Just kill that one. Alright, front one's dead. No. We have most parts of our build set up. I do have Anchor, so... And we need a way to apply vulnerability as well for Barrage. I'm just saying. Okay, so I don't need defensive cards because I'm relying on my Frost Orbs. I'm not relying on my defensive cards. That doesn't mean that's a good idea. Oh, I have Anchor. Why did I do that? Could have dealt an extra 6 damage. I should dual cast. Okay, you hit the right target. Thank you. But I'm not defended here. And I'm gonna take a bunch of damage. I mean, there's a chill. I need to kill the back one, so I need a barrage. Next hand. There is a possibility. Okay, there it is. Zap needs to get out because it's something that I'm not gonna play anymore. I just want Frost Orbs. The thinner this deck is, the less cards it has, the less, the more cold snaps it has, the more defensive it actually gets. Essence of Steel might actually take a cool headed here. It's card draw, it's actually two cards I believe upgraded. I might take it preemptively. But I do have two orb generations at this point now, so I'm not taking it. Am I smithing here? Yeah, next one's a shop. I don't know what I'm exactly what I'm picking up there, but I will be picking up something. So chill needs to be upgraded. Being innate is really good, especially against multi-fight enemies. Chemical X is not bad. But car removal. Zap needs to go. I might actually just pick up Tiny Chest and Loop. I uh, actually don't need Loop. Blind is good though. Blind is way better than uh, Go For The Eyes. Just saying. Yeah. I have to rest here. I'm just on really low HP. Okay, so there's the Blind. Chill, Cold Snap, and Tool Cast. Right, so the majority of our damage is just gonna come from Barrage. And we cannot actually defend ourselves that well because we don't have a deep rag. So we can somewhat defend ourselves, but not too well. Yeah, one short, I know. Probably could have used the Essence of Steel there, I guess. I will actually use it. Should have used it last turn, but. You know, it's fine. Come on, blind. There it is. I will do. I will be dual casting frost orbs because, I mean, why not? It is a way of gaining extra defense, but I do generate somewhat of a good amount of orbs, so. I do need an extra cold snap. That's what I'm trying to say. It's either cold snap or, or cool headed. So I cannot transform him and this is the best defense I can do strike them barrage it's because he the last point of damage makes him transform alrighty I definitely have 12 here. A little bit over, actually. 
lot over with the plated armor. Alright, we're fine. There's the blind. Okay. It's because we have frost orbs, we're actually not doing a lot of damage. Which is something I keep saying. Almost, almost. As I said, a single defrag and we'll be fine. In fact, we'll be really good. I should have strike, strike, uh, barrage there. It would have dealt an extra six damage. Calipers wouldn't be bad because of the frost orbs. Capacitor as well would be really good. Capacitor just to increase the damage from. I could have struck out one more one more time. I know. Probably should have. Uh, capacitor because of the thing. Because of barrage. It's gonna be really good. I, he's not weakened though, so I'm not fully defended. Three strikes, okay. It's a good turn to get him to get the three strikes. There's the blind, okay. I will double defend here. Single strike. Because double striking was gonna do nothing. Wasn't gonna transform him, so. He's actually gonna debuff me. When has that happened? That normally doesn't happen, by the way. It's just we don't deal a lot of damage. Oh, and we actually got Electrodynamics. I love Electrodynamics. I just think it's really fun. Sozu. Yeah, Sozu. Extra energy is really good. Especially if I want to pick up a cool headed. It's the champ fight again, though. What's with the defect in facing the champion? So one rest, two rests, and an elite with no shop. Early shop. I guess I could go for one card removal. Rest, elite, rest. And here I can actually go for an extra rest and an extra elite. Yeah, that, that seems like a good path. And if we do get the build up and running until then, it's going to be really good. I will dual cast this orb. I know I over defended. It's fine. We still don't do too much damage. Even with the extra energy. It's a little bit, but it's not too much. I need a single defend. He's gonna debuff me now. Yep. I'm fully defended, I believe. No, I'm not actually one short, but it's fine. Oh boy. And it's actually not dead because I'm gonna use this. I don't want to take the damage. There's a cool headed. I don't have any OE. Vajra is really good for Barrage. There's no way I'm not picking that up. I really wanted to card move, but there's just no way. There's no way I wasn't picking that up. And anybody would agree with that. Vajra goes in a Barrage deck. Guaranteed. If you have the opportunity to pick up Vajra, you pick it up. Probably our worst enemy to fight here. Spirit Guardian. Next one is the two thieves combo and the birds. Actually, the birds are not that bad because... Well, because we have a barrage and multi-hits. I didn't defend there. I should have defended. I chose to do damage. Beam cell upgraded. Mm, yep. Okay, so I was going here towards the right, right? Yeah, towards the right. Yeah, Cultist Fight is as well not that good for us. It's because we, as I said, we don't deal a lot of damage. Barrage is our main source of damage and it actually currently does not deal that much damage. I should have dual casted there. I know I'm too short, but... Mm. Blind the front one. Alright, I was hoping to get Barrage here, because of the beam cell. 
Oh, I'm gonna take a bunch of damage here. Okay, this one's dead, so I'm actually fully defended now. The way I'm thinking this build is gonna work is I just set up a bunch of frost orbs until I'm done. You know, set up capacitors, set up defrag, whatever you need, and then all of a sudden just pull out a barrage. But before that, you don't do anything. It's an upgraded cool headed, of course. But I already have one, I don't need two of them, so. The blind is probably a really good thing to upgrade here. Just AoE weakness. I didn't necessarily need to upgrade it, I just like them upgraded because of, for example, these types of fights. Our main social damage is Barrage, so... Mm. Right, blind first so I can beam cell. Well, I didn't kill the front one, which is really bad. And we're heading straight towards an elite. And I'm frail. On top of everything, I'm frail. We're working through that um, artifacting slowly. Yeah, that's bad. More damage taken. There's a line. I do have a cool headed, so I will dual cast here. I didn't need to. Eh. Yeah, I didn't need to. I should move. Okay, beam cell. Okay, the beam cell there was a real lifesaver. Second barrage is too much in this deck. I might actually skip the elite. Yeah, you know what? It's the wise thing to do. And yeah, I should have gone for the elite. Why? Because. This is the snake plant. And everybody knows how much I love the snake plant. Snake plant. Probably one of the worst enemies to fight. What that means is I'm just gonna go all out turtle. Whenever I can. Dual cast, yes. No barrage. Of course no barrage. What am I talking about? Oh wait, it is there. It's really late here. And I really shouldn't be recording. Okay, this is lethal. Okay, that's good. We actually escaped the frost plant with minimal casualties. I will pick up a second cold snap. Will I? Kill cold snap. Cool headed. No, I will not be. Rip and tear is 20 down. No, no, no. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Told you, I'm not actually gonna get a capacitor anymore. Or a defrag. I'm I'm not going towards the heart. Sorry, not this episode. All right, so cold snap, chill, and brush. This one's down. And fully defended. I do want to kill up. Should cool head at first. I do have some vulnerability up on it, so sort of good. I don't I don't want to use unnecessary skills, so I'm only gonna use cool headed. I was hoping for a attack actually. Should use the blind. I got the nasty case of the hiccups. All of a sudden. You're do you're doing way too much damage to me. Seriously, stop it. Eh, that's a lot of dazes. Okay, we're dead. Nah, I'm kidding. I knew we were fine there. No. I need to rest here now. Because the next question mark, if it's another snake plant, I might just die. <laughs> I'm not losing my gold. Right, we got barrage in the opening hand, which is really nice. 
I need to kill bear. Good. Bear's dead. This means I'm not gonna get the negative two decks, which makes this fight a lot easier. Not too easier, it's just easier. Oh, I definitely dual casting here. No. Alright, so barraging this target, right? Am I? 7? 14, okay, so I don't need to barrage that target. It's just so I don't waste damage. I mean, it was only one, but still, I'd rather not. Actually, it wasn't going to be one because that target was going to be, hmm, what do you say, um, a vulnerable, so it was going to be more. Good thing I picked up Regal Pillow. Upgrading Cool Headed, so it draws two cards. Oh, an AoE fight and we don't have any AoE cards. Yep, that's not good. Actually, I'm surprised. I haven't picked up a single AoE card. I do want to kill that target. Hmm. That's 21. I really wanted to barrage. I really wanted to barrage there. Okay, I guess I'm. Get I'm guess I'm doing it here. I guess the one thing I'm not doing is like being very patient. Because I really should be a little bit more patient, but I just know that some of these enemies ramp up really hard. Like what the Gremlin Leader is now doing. He's just gaining strength, so now he's gonna attack me for like 12, 10, sorry. Oh, he's weakened, right, right of course. Should've cool-headed at first. And because as you can see without any AoE here, we're just dealing with the minions and not the actual leader. And if I actually don't deal with the minions, the leader's just gonna attack almost every turn, so. Hmm. I picked up the leap so that I can be a little bit more safe. Yeah, this is why you need to take care of the minions. And I, he's not even weakened. Yeah, there was no point in hitting the Mad Gremlin. He was just gonna buff. Yeah. Ah! You know, it's getting really late. I will think about this episode. I will. And I'll probably rewatch it, see what I did wrong. Hopefully. Hopefully. As I said, hopefully. Anyway, my name is Rampant Mystic. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Slate Aspire, and I do hope to see you all in the next Ascension Run Struggle.